people had to make their own amusements. Whist, dances and suppers were popular. Jim Bertram remembers people playing card games for matches in the 1930s. There were evenings spent in each other's houses and long walks home under the stars. A boxing club and woodworking classes were started in Southern Now School in the early 1950s, and the Border Stick Dressing Association had its beginnings there in 1951. Right, well, first of all, we have a black faced ram's horn, or swale ale. Cut it back to a solid horn. You've got to squeeze it, heat it, and squeeze it round. So you've got a nice round neck for fitting the shank on. And once it's cold, heat it again and put it in a press to flatten it. Once it's flattened, uh, heat it again where you want it to be bent. Squeeze it round into the shape you want it. And then after that, drill a hole in it for fitting the shank in. Once you've got your shank fit in, you can draw your pattern you want to cut out. Cut it out as a bow saw or a, or a band saw. Fit it on the shank, file it down to the shape you've got, and then sandpaper it down, glue the shank in, finish it off by with polishing it, and then uh, a clear varnish, and that's it, completed. And Jenny, my daughter, she is very keen on that. She does all the painting of the sticks, whether they're dogs or fish or birds. She does all the painting and makes an excellent job. My father made sticks most of his life. And when we were at seven and now, he uh, decided to start a, an association and he got the school teacher's husband and uh, one or two people from around the valley and they formed the Border Stick Dresses Association. From there, they took classes for people to learn how to make sticks. And there was quite a few professional people from round about. My father went on to judge at all local shows and, and then went away for a few in the Highland Show and Royal Show and the Bath and West Show. He got me started, filing bits here and filing bits there for him. And, when they were put together and glued on, he got me the sandpaper and polish them down, and then he got me heating the sticks, and then started making them myself. And by the time I was 12 years old, I thought that I could make a stick. Well, the Champion of Champions is all the sticks which won the first prize, or the best stick in the show, at all shows in Scotland, and a lot of the shows in North of England. And they all come together in Yetham, in a separate class, I judged the best stick in the show there, and that becomes the champion of champions. <laughs>